Here in part two, we will start by showing you that the four Bucky and four Plato cubes are all made up of eight smaller cubes. I was calling these smaller cubes Chico cubes until I realized that they work in pairs. So I decided to call it a Chico and a Chica. The cube with the green octopus is the Chico and the cube with the white octopus is a Chica. You will find in any of the assemblies, the Chico always goes with a the Chica. They're always adjacent to each other. The Chicos don't go together or the Chicas don't go together. It's as if one is positive and the other is negative or one is male and the other one is female. You will always find the purple tetra piece is always in the Chico and the yellow tetra piece is always in the Chica. One more thing I'd like to add. Notice that your Chico and the Chica transparent cubes are provided with a tongue and a lip. I will give you a quick glimpse of this in a better view and give the cube some colour. I've given one cube the colour purple and the other cube the colour yellow. These are the Chico and Chica colour. Notice how they go together. Now let's go back to these two cubes with 10 pieces all together. I want you to see how to form a 40 piece cube. We start by making a copy of the first pair. Now rotate the inside 180 degrees as shown. Now make another copy of the four cubes as shown. Now we'll rotate these pieces 180 degrees. We have just formed a 40 piece Plato cube, actually a Plato one cube. You will probably find it easier to rotate the pieces by putting two cubes open ended together. There is an advantage of using the lips and the tongues on these eight cubes. Once the eight cubes are set up as shown, they may be interlinked to form any one of the four Plato cubes or four Bucky cubes without any alterations. Remember this little toy just started with two different shaped pieces. Then we had a small cube of five pieces. Then eight of these small cubes made up a 40 piece cube. These 40 piece cubes then made up a family of eight cubes. These eight cubes for Plato and for Bucky are perfectly interrelated in symmetry and balance. If we stack eight Bucky cubes to make a larger cube, we always have a Plato cube in the center. And if we stack eight Plato cubes, we get a Bucky cube in the center. When I started studying this new little toy, I only focused on the 40 piece Plato cube with the green and the white octahedron in the center. I ignored the other three octahedrons that could form the center also. It was only after looking at different theories on YouTube about the possibility of different three dimensions in space that I thought it's time to bring back these octahedrons. Some of the top physicists say there is at least 11 dimensions and parallel universes. Maybe this little toy is a good demonstration of that theory. There is something else I'd like to add. In the ancient scriptures, they describe the macabre as a chariot from going from one dimension to another. Let's take a look. Notice that the macabre doesn't change in either of the assemblies. It could be dimensions also. Now check this out. The macabre will keep on growing by eight times its size. I'll fade out a portion of the assembly to show you. Now we have four beautiful macabres. Now I'll fade out the macabre and just leave the octahedrons. Now I'll bring back the pieces I took away to make the macabre. We now have another assembly of beautiful symmetry. I think you could fit a perfect cube octahedron in the center. I will now bring back bare assemblies that look like fractal assemblies. This name was given by Professor Mandelbrot. We now show four purple fractal assemblies. 
so I guess they can be called Chico fractals. Now I will bring in the four yellow fractal assemblies. So these can be called Chica fractals. Look how these pairs duel together so perfectly. Now we have seen what just two different shaped pieces can do and how a pair of cubes, a Chico and a Chica, can be arranged to make 40 piece assemblies in eight different cube arrangements. And these 40 piece cube arrangements can be stacked by eight to make larger cubes with shapes that increase in size eight times. This brings us to the end of part two. I hope you look for part three because I still have a lot of discoveries that I haven't showed you.